All right, welcome back to Adobe Animate CC. Uh, we are continuing with this animated ad for the zombie outbreak warning. And the last tutorial, we created the background and we had the animated text before that. Next up, we're gonna add some sort of animated graphic in here. I'm gonna go to my Creative Cloud library here and grab this uh, sort of warning symbol here and drag it out. Now, once I drag that out, I'll get the options here on how to import. I'm gonna select all layers. Can actually collapse that little option there but essentially this is one graphic I want it to maintain it um, as one image and I click uh, basically import I can leave everything else the same click import now the original position is a little bit farther out so I'm gonna hit uh, control minus a couple times or uh, command minus on I mean yeah command minus on the Mac and then uh, control plus or command plus to zoom in once I have the object selected, I can choose the free transform tool and basically start to scale in. So I actually want to scale this in a little bit. So I drag it down. And I'm thinking something like that might be kind of cool. I think it might be kind of nice to have it about this size. I could have it up higher and maybe have a couple of these. That might be kind of fun too, like spinning around. I don't know though. I think I might actually just want one a little bit bigger sort of on to the side here. So what I'm going to do is kind of like this position approximately where it's at in the size, but there is an issue with the pivoting point. Now it's not going to be perfect. If I try and rotate this object, it's still going to bounce around everywhere. Um, but I can try and adjust it and make it a little bit more central. So I'm just kind of lining up in the free transform mode you're able to adjust the pivot now uh, right now it's coming on this uh, layer one if I turn it on off you can see it there I'm gonna double click on this layer and rename it I'm gonna title it uh, warning graphic and then hit return and again if you can't see your text you can always pull this out a little bit further I am gonna drag it below the zombie title so it's behind it and I want to turn, temporarily turn off the uh, zombie title right now. And now I actually want to animate this uh, graphic. So from here to here. So I have one keyframe, but I actually want to come down to the end here now and right click and insert a keyframe. So I have now have two keyframes. And if I click in here and right click and create a classic tween, at that point I have animation, but nothing is changing. So I have to change the properties of these two keyframes essentially. So I'm going to select the first one here and I'm going to adjust the rotation. Now I could come out here and click and rotate, but it's a little easier, a little better to do it through the transform property here. I'm just going to open it up. It's this little rectangle and here's a rotate option. I'm just going to click and drag a little bit until I get it to come out to, I don't know, something like 260 around negative degrees and then uh, click out and as I scrub forward you start to see the animation turn until it gets to the end here you know something like that is kind of cool might take a little bit further let's see I'm gonna select again that first keyframe I have the object selected go into the transform maybe I'll drag it even further back uh, not Actually, I could have it to negative 360. Let's see how that would work. That would be a full rotation, which would be no change uh, because it doesn't recognize the negative from the positive on there. So um, I'm going to bring it back just a little bit. And it looks like that one unit wasn't that much difference. So let's go back even further. To something like maybe negative 25 and you can see there to there maybe I need to select the end keyframe and see what that's at it says zero here so let's see here now you can always if you zoom in and out you can always use this little widget here to kind of uh, collapse the whole area I'm gonna go back to here and open up that marquee again and just take it back a little bit further it just can't go I want to go somewhere in the middle so probably about negative 180 would be good and so now you get this nice smooth sort of rotation that kind of happens as it goes all the way over 
So let's turn on the uh, zombie title and let's go ahead and press enter or return the Mac and kind of see what happens here. You've got the zombie outbreak warning coming in with this guy uh, spinning in the background. Let me reposition a little bit better and do that one more time. That's not bad. Uh, with this graphic, I do want it to be a little bit down further, I think. Now that I'm looking at it here, um, let's click on the end point here. And maybe just shift it down just a tad. Kind of nice to have it centered behind the, the text here. So I think something like that would look a little bit better. And then as it comes over, you know, it kind of spins over. We really don't notice it moving up or down on here, but I am going to just shift it down just a tiny bit on this uh, first frame here. The last thing I want to do, let's see, I got the spinning action going on. Um, I don't know, that, that actually looks pretty good. I will apply a little bit of easing. So I'm going to click somewhere in here in the middle here and adjust the ease to 100%. So let's go ahead and hit enter or return on the Mac and see how that looks. Now we got this kind of smooth zooming in effect where the spinning slows down and the text sort of lines up. Uh, quite nicely on there. Now there's a couple additional graphics that might be kind of fun to play around with and we'll do that in the next tutorial. We'll check you uh, soon and Adobe Animate CC. Until then, cheers!